Are you ready? Are you ready? Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about 10 perfumes and 10 facts about me. But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is. Now, a few weeks ago, I asked if you guys wanted to see uh, Q&A. And I do get questions in my comment section. A lot of people are in my DMs asking me both personal and fragrance related questions. And I just thought, since I've hit my milestone, let me come out here and do a Q&A because I don't think I've done one before. Um, I think I did one many, many years ago, but I think I've took the video down. I can't remember. But anyhow, there were loads of questions, especially on Instagram in my DMs and I had a couple of emails as well. So I'm gonna split this in two parts because this video is gonna be too long and I don't like long videos because it takes ages for me to edit and some people don't sit through very, very long videos. So I'm gonna split into two parts. But at the end of this video, there's going to be a giveaway, as I promised you guys. I think it was last video, the week video before. So it's going to be a giveaway. So make sure you stay until the end and do not skip this video, please. Many thanks. Now, I'm going to share 10 perfumes that I've really been loving lately. I've been reaching for these perfumes. It's been cold there in London. I've gone out to work. I've gone out on date um, with my husband. <laughs> I have, you know, I've just been out here just enjoying life, to be honest, even though it's very cold. I've been going out quite a bit and I've been loving it. Now, I'm not going to dive into too much information in terms of the perfumes because I have spoken about them before. A lot of them I've been reaching for quite a bit and I wanted to shine a light on them. So I'm going to start with a perfume I've been reaching for a lot lately and that is Kawa by Latafa. Now, this perfume took me by surprise. I had the original um, camera and I thought it was okay, but I gave it to my husband's friend. And I won this one on Instagram. So thank you so much, Latafa, for just sending this to me. This is a massively <laughs> impressive perfume. I'm so in love with it. It is a sweet, spicy, boozy, and definitely has that very nice coffee element are there the coffee is not bitter it's more like a cafe latte as opposed to a coffee i love longevity is incredible so first question is by marco he asked what are three men's perfumes that i love this is so hard to to pick but the three that i really really enjoy on my husband are so i love terrible teddy on my husband this is a really really sexy one so the next one is Italian Leather by Memo. This is a very sexy leathery perfume. I can't even describe it. It's just really sexy. I am truly obsessed with this. When my husband wears this, I can't keep my hands off him. And the last one is Nefs by Nishane. This perfume is <laughs> impossible to describe, but it's one of the most beautiful perfumes I've ever had my nose on. I feel like it's unisex, leaning slightly masculine. Now, those are the perfumes I love on men. And he also asked me, who is my favorite singer of all time? I love Brandy. Oh my Lord, I love Brandy. I grew up on Brandy. I grew up on old school R&B and hip hop. I absolutely just love Brandy. In this day and age, I obviously love Afrobeats, The Whiskey, The Davido, Burner Boy. I love all these artists, but if I had to pick one singer, it, it has to be Brandy. I also love Janet Jackson. Oh my God, it's so hard to pick. Okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna say Brandy and Janet Jackson. Right. <laughs> so the next perfume I've been loving a lot lately is Myrrh and Tonka by Joe Malone. This is another one. Ooh, why is it dusty? Oh no. Oh no no no. Okay. So I reached for this one only once last week, but I just pulled it to the front of my perfume cabinet because it was like right at the back. So I couldn't even see it. Um, Myrrh and Tonka is such a deep, heavy, dense perfume. It's a very unique one to describe. It's Tonka heavy. It's the Myrrh is giving me an ambery feel and it's a little bit smoky as well. A lot of people find this masculine. I don't. I think it's perfectly unisex. I think it's perfect for the cold weather and i'm truly obsessed with it and it definitely lasts a very long time now the next question is how do you combine um and balance your work life personal life and youtube 
as a whole and this was asked by kiki she's on youtube and also on instagram um so thanks kiki for that question it's really hard to balance life um but what i do is i family comes first that's number one and then work and then work on youtube i'll say on par because sometimes when i'm done with work when i get home i i will film i would edit i would edit on my way to work i will edit on my lunch breaks i am constantly editing and i think you just have a very have a focused mind when i want to do something and make it happen but that's after everything family is done then everything else comes after i'm not gonna lie sometimes i get very exhausted i get incredibly exhausted i get emotional because sometimes i feel like there's not enough time in the day to actually do all the things i want to do but i try so hard especially since very late last year i've decided to really prioritize myself so if i can't do a video if i can't get a video out i won't really force myself to do it i wouldn't go you know and have sleep, sleepless nights for <laughs> sometimes i don't sleep for a week properly like i get two three hours here and there i promised myself that this year i'm not going to do that um i post as and when i'm able to there will always be a sunday video but during the week if i'm not able to post a video i won't post a video um but i definitely make up for it at some point by maybe posting the following week or just something to make you guys happy because me being here makes me happy and i know it makes you guys happy as well so i don't want to disappoint you as much as i don't want to disappoint myself and i miss you guys like i can't not put a video out especially in this live when we are chatting and you know you guys are chatting to each other it literally warms my heart so yeah i just balance it somehow but prioritize family and everything else comes after that now the next person i've really really been loving is um lib le Parfum. Now, you guys know how much I don't like the original. I think it's a bit boring. I think it's very... I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like the lavender in there. It's too strong. It's too masculine smelling to my nose. But I love this because it smells like... It smells more like a vanilla lavender honey scent, which is basically what this is. Um, it lasts long. It gathers compliments. It projects incredibly well. It's perfect for this time of the year. I'm truly in love with this perfume. The only one from the Lib line that I personally love. So the next question is, what is my favorite cuisine slash restaurant? Um, it's African food. I love Nigerian food, African food. I love Caribbean food. I love Thai. I, lo I, I love Chinese food. <laughs> I can't pick one, guys. I love food. As long as it tastes good and there's no pork, and there's no like nuts in there i'm good and it's well flavored i'm honestly good but obviously i'm nigerian i enjoy nigerian food i feel like you know the i love the spices in our food the way it's seasoned i really really love and in terms of restaurants my favorite restaurant is nobu i go to nobu quite often uh, thanks to my husband like that's literally <laughs> where we dine all the time um i enjoy going to akasan as well but it definitely has to be Nobu. So the next perfume I've been loving a lot lately is Lyra by Zerjov. Now this is a beautiful fresh gourmand. It's giving me like a lemon cake vibe. It's fresh, it's sweet, it's not too sweet, it's not cloying, it smells amazing, it's a compliment magnet. I feel like if you guys already know, I, I've, I've literally started getting into Zerjov recently because prior to recently, <laughs> I haven't been... I haven't found a Zerjov that quite worked for me, but this one's been working for me. I don't know what it is because I've known of about Lyra for such a long time, but I just never gave it a chance because all the other Zerjovs hasn't really worked for me, but this one definitely has. I think a lot of people love this one. A lot of people have in their collection. Um, the only complaints I hear is that this is not long lasting, but I feel like if you take a really deep, you know, cleansing shower and you moisturize really, really well, and maybe you use like a body oil that's like a vanilla based body oil and then you spray this over spray it will last you the whole day because it lasted me the whole day I've, I've worn this to work and i could smell it on myself for ages i didn't take a decant with me so i just feel like if you've done the right steps and you over spray this will last on you a long time so that is lira by zerjo um britney asked three questions why did you start your youtube channel where do you see your channel going in 2024 and how can we support you more? 
thank you so much um please support me <laughs> more by watching my video from start to finish sharing the videos um telling me what you guys would like to see and when i do those videos actually watch them um and just kind of just keep supporting the way you've been supporting like i can't ask any more of you guys than you guys already do like i feel like we're family because I, you're part of my daily life now, like you're part of my routine. And I just feel like, you know, as you're supporting me, just please kindly don't stop uh, because I truly appreciate it. Um, the other questions she asked was, where do I see my channel going in 2024? I see me growing. I see me growing at my own pace. Um, I'm not in competition with anybody. I'm in competition with me. This year's Abby has got to be better than last year's Abby. And that's what it is. I'm not watching other people's clock. We are all on different clocks and everyone's time is different. And I'm fully content with what I've got. I'm fully content with my life. And I'm always thankful to God because I'm not, not someone that I feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be. You know, I feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be and I'm content with that. Um, and the last one is why did I start YouTube? I started YouTube. I've always wanted to start YouTube. I've been really shy. I think that I just don't know sometimes where to draw the line and i got scared of that i got scared that i may say something that will offend someone um i also thought that people would be coming for me because i, I used to watch youtubers and i look at their comment sections section and i'll see people coming for them people being disrespectful and i didn't know how i would handle that so that took me a while so when i finally started youtube i started off literally i think i was doing my hair because i've got really I had a really nice routine with my hair. I was always complimented on my hair. And I thought, you know, why don't I just show the people what I do to my hair to make my curls really like, you know, rich and super curly. I like that was what I was doing initially. And then I moved on to talking about shoes, which is another passion of mine. Um, but it didn't feel like it wasn't complete. I wasn't having fun with it. And then I've always liked perfumes. I've always you know one perfume since i was 11 years old i've worn perfumes so i was just really excited to share that side of me and then youtube niched me to perfume content only so if i do any other thing if i did vlogs or anything else the videos just don't do that well so that made me to kind of stick to this niche and i really really enjoy it so this next perfume is pretty new to my collection and it was kindly sent to me by the brand and this is Jani by Sora Dora. Now I was going on and on about Malo. I love Malo. Malo is lovely. But I think Jani <laughs> literally is on par. I would say it's on par. This opens up with puff pastry, baked apple, cinnamon. Like the notes in here are just giving gourmand but it smells like perfume. This is absolutely incredible if you like a very unique take on a gourmand this is it this is not like a um it's not so unique that it's not likable i think it's a unique likable perfume but you have to like your gourmand scent you need to like vanilla you need to like caramel you need to like fruity perfumes you need to like all of those things in one and then you would absolutely love johnny i do have a 10 percent discount code i will always leave all of my discount codes in my description box below as well this is sweet <laughs> sexy and totally addictive so i'm gonna go through three questions that were most commonly asked and i thought that was clear on this like through through the times i've been doing youtube videos but clearly not um someone asked me how long i've been married someone said am i married i'm married i always wear my ring in every video and i'm always talking about my husband my husband has been on my channel like twice um, but yes, I'm happily married, 15 years strong. I also got asked um, how many kids I've got, how old they are. I've got a son and a daughter, 15 and 13. I have my daughter first and my son is the second child. So I've got a fragrance question. So who is my favorite fragrance house apart from Penhaligons? Uh, apart from Penhaligons, I love... Mm, I love Performs the Mali. I would have to say Performs the Mali. A lot of their perfume speaks to me. Um, I don't think I dislike any of their female line of perfumes. I have a majority of them. So yeah, I'd have to say it's Performs the Mali. Um, and I also like to say Dior as a designer house. Dior is my favorite designer brand. I feel like their private line is immaculate, incredible. I was going to go for Tom Ford as well, but their prices are 
just a killer and the last perfume they released vanilla sex was really really disappointing um so yeah so another perfume i've been really enjoying is the so de janeiro Cherosa 62 this is so good and such an easy throw on perfume this is pistachio um caramel vanilla it is insane oh my lord i love this i love to layer it with the body cream i love to layer it with the oil um i really love it on its own the lasting power is quite poor but combining all of the body care product and then spraying this perfume on will give it a better longevity it's still not going to fill up a room it's not a beast mode perfume i don't think it's meant to be um but it's amazing for what it is and i truly enjoy it so the next question is what do you hate most about people um i think hate is a strong word i don't hate anyone and i don't hate anything that anyone does unless you harm a child that's the only time hate will literally come through me because i feel like children they're innocent they should never be hurt and apart from that i don't really see me hating someone or hating something but there are things i dislike i dislike jealous people i dislike people who don't want others to do um well or who don't want others to do better than them people that are envious or people that have like bad mind you know some people just have bad mind against their fellow human beings i just don't like this kind of people i don't like women who just hate on other women um just hate you know i don't like hate envy um jealousy and greediness and i cannot stand self-absorbed people oh my god i don't like people that are just so me 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 i want to do this i i i like even if you talk about yourself to them they still find a way to bring it back to themselves yeah i'm not feeling those kind of people i don't hate them but i dislike some of their ways i've had friends like that um in the past and we are not friends anymore because i can't deal with jealousy or people who don't want others to win there's enough space for everyone there is enough you know opportunities for everyone to develop to grow to make it out here like we don't have to just have hate in our hearts for other people for doing well or just not liking people for doing better then you just want to be the only one winning i think that's not how life should be and yeah i cannot stand that so this next perfume <laughs> is lune feline and you guys know how much i really love the packaging of this perfume it is amazing i wore it a couple of times this week again this is a vanilla like no other it's very strong it's very um smoky it's very fiery in the opening a little bit bitter um in order to love and enjoy this perfume you got to wait until the very very dry down because it is absolutely <laughs> shocking in the opening but the dry down is everything it gets me compliments so much but when i spray it literally everyone in the house knows it's lune feline because it's that powerful and it's that distinctive like you can tell it apart from all my other perfumes because it's very very special it's very unique and i just love it so much another perfume i've been loving is scandal by jean paul gaultier this is one of those honey perfumes that i really really enjoy if you like early subs the girl of now you would love this but i think this is slightly better and less synthetic um another perfume that i've been really loving is um the palo santo right here by Carna Barcelona. This is a very smoky and slightly sweet, addictive, super, super unisex um, kind of perfume. I've worn it once. And the first time I wore it, I was just taken back by how amazing it smells. It's very long lasting. And I feel like a lot of people will like this perfume. Next perfume is Luby Crown by Christian Louboutin. Now this one is patchouli, some woody notes, and also tonka bean. Um, it's a little bit spicy. It's quite patchouli heavy. It's unique and I really like it. And I like the way the tonka bean and the patchouli just mix well together. It's very long lasting. It's really, really good. But don't blind buy it, please. Unless you like your very woody, smoky, um, super intense kind of perfume then you can blind buy if you want but this is way too pricey to blind buy please go smell it first and let me know what you think or if you have this perfume comment down below actually yeah comment down below and last but not least is neroli blanc intense 
now this is one of my favorite perfumes ever at the moment um it's a very beautiful orange blossom perfume it smells wonderful and this will lead me on to the giveaway but i need, I need to read out the last question the last question is <laughs> who don't you like in fragcom who is fake now i ain't gonna answer that because whoever's asked me that question is looking for drama this is a drama free zone this is a drama free channel i will never bring all that mess into my channel because it's not what i'm about um i don't dislike anybody in fragcom i don't know who's fake or who is not fake i couldn't care less how people are i'm just in my space doing my own thing with my people and that's it so my guess is they're looking for drama and you're not gonna get it here because i don't have beef with anybody i don't have time i'm a grown woman I have I'd like this I have a life outside of YouTube I have a life outside of social media as a whole and I'm not gonna sit here and be bashing anybody or be telling you who I hate or who I don't like no not gonna happen <laughs> so let's talk about the giveaway so here are the giveaway details for this amazing perfume so a full bottle will be sent to a lucky winner and all you have to do is go over to their Instagram I will leave their Instagram handle over there and I'll also leave the comment pinned on this video Go on to their Instagram, give them a follow and comment on their page why you want to win this perfume and who sent you. So you go on their page, comment on their last post and say, um, I want to win the Roly Blanc Intense because I do. From Abby with Love Sent Me. Something like that. Um, or obviously don't say because I do. <laughs> say something nice and um, we'll work together in picking out the winner. And um, yeah, and I will announce the winner next week, Sunday. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.